I made a little mistake with my council tax bill the other day, and as a result, I discovered something very interesting. I thought I'd tell you about it next. <laughs> Everybody, welcome back to the channel for a Tuesday. Hope you're doing all right. Let me know what you're up to in the comments below. I'm just having a little break from the old driving and I'll be on my way again very soon. Well, council tax, yeah. <laughs> I've got a confession to make up in a bit of a naughty boy. For two months in a row, uh, I was a bit late paying my council tax. Yeah, I did pay my council tax in the end, but one thing I like to see with any system is how far you can push your luck. So let's say council tax was due on the 15th. I want to see if I can get away with paying it on the 20th, you know, see how much leeway there actually is in the system. Now, generally with councils, what they'll do when you're late, they'll send you a reminder letter out. Oi, you, pay your bill now. And uh, I got one of those. And it was my understanding that my particular council sent out three before they got, you know, shirty. Well, I was wrong. They actually sent out two. And then the third one is a court summons. Well, I got one of these, didn't I? Uh, I looked at it and I thought, this doesn't look very real to me. There's something a bit strange. For example, the hearing number and case number at the top didn't look like any kind of court summons I'd ever seen. There was no court stamp on it or anything else of that nature. And I thought, hmm, but, but what there was was actually a court name and address. So I thought, okay, I'm going to ring the court directly and see what they say about this. When I rang the court, they said, what it actually is, is not a summons. Uh, my particular council actually book out some time at uh, the county court which is listed on what they're, they're calling a summons and they'll have a list of people uh, a list of constituents that haven't paid their council tax and they'll go through and assess each one in turn and uh, attempt to apply for a liability order which will then enable them to add extra costs, pass it to a debt collector, and uh, generally get shitty. Now, if this ever happens to you, don't panic. You have to do what I do. And the very first thing you do is you get straight back in touch with the council before any kind of court date comes up. You discuss with them what the outstanding stuff is, what you need to do about it, and get it paid. If you can't get it paid, tell them and come to an arrangement with them now a lot of uh, councils will say they'll want an amount all in one hit that's unreasonable and you can't afford to pay it and then they'll then refer it on again and that's a different video for another time but you know the key thing is keep it within the council boundaries and really uh, you're on to a winner but the, the summary is if you get one of these summons just go straight back to the council and do it before any more trouble starts. Let me know in the comments below if you've had any of this. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a whole subject area you could discuss, and I intend to, over the next few weeks. Toodaloo.